Oh, no, not now. What does he want? Hello! What are you doing here? You never called. You never answer your phone. Well, uh, perhaps I never heard it over the Harwick radio station. Listen, I'm here on your behalf. I know on good authority that the Bahrain family is looking to replace you. What? That's rubbish! How dare you try to interfere and come to my railway and spread such a baseless... I know, because they asked me to be your successor. Go on. As you may know, my retirement is fast approaching, and I honestly can't throw this obligation on Richard when he's still learning the ropes. All I'm saying is that I'm looking out for you and... All right, all right. I appreciate you coming here, and I'll be sure to make things right. Having Caldy back will be a huge step up. Good to hear. You're my friend, Mr. Richards, and as you know, there are a lot of good railway men out there who want the best for you. You just seem so... Uh, scattered lately. Well, bless my bell. Look who's back. Thank goodness they didn't send you to Switzerland. I wouldn't have known what to do with myself. Ah, a new paint I see. I like it. You look good. Ten out of ten would admire from afar. Catherine, not now. I need to be debriefed by Mr. Richards. Oh, don't bother with him. What about me? I miss you too, you know. Catherine, shh. Well, welcome back. Nice to be back, sir. That's good. Come along now. I need to speak with you. Take me up to Shiloh and look out with me. The Bohemian triumphed by man never seen, dressed in white, with flock between. Seen as he were, or seen as he never saw himself, the ensemble foils the villain's stealth. Of self-fulfilling prophecy is all that need be, to rest a soul for eternity. Fear not, you have friends in high places. The lamp will mark the worthy faces. Find my rails if you hear my call. I am the savior of you all. First off, everyone is pleased to have you back. Your accident was highly improbable. Pardon? Though thoroughly traumatic, I'm sure. I understand you're still a bit rattled. Well... I know very well your accident got the better of you. And it's about time we relinquish these fears once and for all. But sir, I just got back. Can't I get settled for a little while? The bridge is in need of maintenance, and I want you and Catherine to take some workmen to investigate if it's safe to run. Yes, sir. Keep in mind, I'm a little harder on the other engines than I am on you, Caldy. It's because you keep a level smoke box, and I trust you the most. I can't have my mountain engines growing soft in the boiler, accident or no accident. Yes, sir. I understand, sir. You know, I... I've always thought very highly of you. And I really mean that. The mountains are truly the last haven there ever will be. Remember that now. All right. Go on, my friend. Go and collect Catherine. I need some air. I prefer to hike down anyway.
Control, reporting in. There are now reports of a dangling wanderer on the bridge. I repeat, a dangling wanderer on the bridge. Seems to be hanging on by a shepherd's crook. We are notifying the search and rescue center immediately. Why, hello there! What a lucky break indeed! Coldy's back! Hey there, Coldy. It's lovely to see you again. Hello, Alric. Eric. I've missed you both very much. Oh, Coldy! Thank goodness. Honestly, the railway's been a mess without you. Really? Mr. Richards failed to mention that. That's just it. He hasn't been a very good controller at all. He's never been very good with handling emotions, especially with poor Shane over there. Ah, don't make me go back up there. Mountain Ascension gives me anxiety due to my currently undisclosed and unresolved trauma. Ah, uh, Shane, come on now. You do this every day and you were never like this before you went to Switzerland. I mean, a mountain engine, afraid of heights? You know that's absurd. Do you have to have a meltdown every afternoon? Ah, I feel so many emotions in my heart that I don't actually have because I'm clearly not a human being, but I still feel things, so what the heck does it mean? Does anyone ever ask themselves these questions? This is why I cry myself to sleep at night and during most hours of the day. Oh, for the love of Godred! Well, some things never change. He always psychs himself out. Doesn't he know by now that when he's halfway up the mountain, he always loves it just as much as anyone else? Where's Catherine? Is she right where I left her? Over there, my friend. And she sure missed you. Would have gone through a gale and back just to see her smile again. Thanks, Patrick. Whoa, what happened to your eye? You look like a pirate or something. Oh, didn't lose it, thankfully. I was rolling up the line, climbing like nobody's fool, but wasn't paying close attention. Loose rock, I smashed right into it. Gave me some swell battle scars, though. Well, you were being reckless. Ah, but they each have their own story to tell. Feel like talking to me now? I'm sorry, Catherine. I missed Mr. Richards, but frankly, I just want to get this task over with. Well, what do you say we go for a little run, eh? Keep my mind off things. Sounds wonderful. I'll lead the way, as usual. <laughs> Always nice to have you looking out for me. What? Am I being coupled on today? That's not strange, is it? Well, usually mountain coaches aren't coupled to engines. Gravity does the job quite well. You remember the story of Godred? If he had been coupled to his coach when he derailed, he would have taken all his passengers down the mountain with him. I prefer to think of us as a grand pair that sticks together to the grittiest end. Oh, so if you take a fall again, you want to drag me down with you. That's attractive. Taking a fall alone is terrifying. Besides, I made that story up, Catherine. Don't be so sure. Poor Caldy. I wish someone could lift his spirits. In his line of work, he can't second guess himself. I wish I could help. Maybe Thomas will have an idea. Wait a minute. I know just the engine. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Hi, Rosie! What's up? Percy! What's the matter? Is something wrong? No time. Caldy needs your help. 